he's bragging about being in possession of firearms. Uh, he is basically, uh, you know, traveling maybe outside of the boundaries of what his probation will allow him to do, maybe not checking in with his probation officer in the manner which he should be doing. Arrested back in 2016 for gun charges. As part of his probation, he cannot be around drugs, guns, certain people, and habits. Court documents detail the violations, including his connection to a shooting. Video of that incident was posted to social media. News 5 investigates new charges against Mobile rapper Honeycomb Brazy. A Fox and News exclusive, a possible break in a high profile unsolved murder case. You might remember his grandparents were murdered back in February. No one's been arrested for that crime. Yeah, Lenise, an accused drug kingpin who briefly escaped jail yesterday, named as a person of interest in the murders of Tony and Layla Lewis. They're the grandparents of local rapper Honeycomb Brazy. He doesn't have a problem posting some of his activities that he's involved in. The person has been arrested in the deaths of Layla and Tony Lewis. The Mobile couple found shot to death last February as their home burned down around them. One year and a day later, three arrests were made in the case. Now 21-year-old Patrick Lewis has been arrested. He is also suspected of killing 21-year-old Brian Maynard in the shops of Bel Air last September. In 2020, Honeycomb Brazy was sentenced to 15 years in prison after being convicted of being a felon in possession of a firearm. While he was serving his sentence in February of 2021, his grandparents were murdered in a house fire. Devin Walsh, we begin with breaking news this afternoon. The grandparents of a local rapper shot and killed, then their home set on fire. The grim details just revealed by emotional family members at the scene. After being freed, after serving 18 months of his sentence in July of 2021, he was ordered back to prison for violating his probation due to posing in videos with guns and drugs. Crazy was again freed this past November after serving 30 months. A few days after he was released, he turned himself in to face charges for allegedly exposing himself to a correctional officer, a crime in which he was accused of committing while he was in prison in 2021. Following his release from prison and recent arrests, Brazy was buzzing on social media, releasing the singles Respect, Letter to God, Six O'Clock, and Rub Me the Wrong Way, each which will have over 2 million views on YouTube. On Monday, December the 18th, Honeycomb Brazy Bond Deshaun Jones was arrested by the Mobile Police Department, not December the 19th, as earlier reports were circulated over social media. He was charged with possession of a controlled substance and a code called certain persons forbidden to possess a firearm. The arrest reportedly came as a traffic stop. Although the vehicle was occupied by other men, Brazy would still be officially charged with possession of a controlled substance and possession of a firearm. The possession charges would also trigger a probation violation, which we all know is a felony. Brazy would appear in court again today in front of Judge Walter H. Honeycutt, who would refuse bond. Attorney for Brazy would say that their client is innocent, but would refuse to speak further on the arrest. They plug.